KB2MXV here. Just wanted to send a message out to the Anytone users who happen to have a D878 and a D578. Don't always believe what you read on these Facebook forums because people post stuff that they really don't know anything about. So here's a post. If you own both the Anytone D878 and the 578, please do not plug both of them into your PC at the same time. And please do not run the 878 and 578 CPS software at the same time either. One CPS will unsuccessfully attempt to read from the other radio and vice versa. You may also wish to reboot your PC before switching to another radio or CPS program. Well, let, let's test that theory. So here on the right is my D878 CPS connected to my D878 radio. And let's set the COM port correctly. My 878 is plugged into COM15. Very good. Now let's take a look at the D578 CPS. Let's make sure the COM port is set correctly to COM port 11. Very good. So let's go to program. Well, first of all, the both CPSs are up and I'm not seeing any smoke coming out of my computers or from the radios at this time. So let's go to program, write to radio, and we'll go OK. And on the 878 CPS, let's go write to radio, and let's hit OK. So on the right, we have the 878. On the left, we have the 578. Now let's see if they can program two different radios at the same time on the same computer with two different CPSs running. Let's hit OK there. Let's hit OK there. Wow, amazing. See what you can do when you know what you're doing? Two CPSs, two radios, set the right COM ports, and everything will work just fine for you. This is KB2MXV.